Hello everyone, my name is Salah Atiyah. I'm Condition Monitoring and Reliability Specialist. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the oil analysis part two, uh, about the loop testing, and today I'm going to talk about the some of the GRACE testing methods. Uh, as I used to make in my videos to be very short video, uh, very brief about the uh, types of the uh, of the test, uh, which can be done for like lubrication or grease. And uh, if you would like to go in detail, you can take the uh, test name and you can search on the uh, the web and try to find more information. Uh, my name is Salate, I'm Condition Monitoring and Reliability Specialist. I um, work in this field for about 13 years. I'm certified by Vibration Analyst Category 4 and in Lubrication Level 2. Uh, grease lubrication. First, would like to like give a quick brief and definition. What's the grease? The grease is a solid to semi uh, solid uh, dispersion of a thickener, uh, which is like a metallic soup uh, in a petroleum or synthetic lubricating oil, like a sponge holding oil. The base is stock between 70 90 percent, plus some additives between 3 to 10 percent, and the thickener between 5 to 15 percent. The metallic soup is two types, simple, which is a metallic base plus one organic acid, or complex, which is a metallic base plus two organic acids, such as lithium, aluminum, sodium, or lithium complex, aluminum complex, and they have different uh, properties, such as wash rate, temperature range, uh, heat resistance, uh, EV, which is extreme pressure, and so on. The compatibility testing, compatibility testing, uh, problem means you will get lower mechanical stability and lower NLGI, which, uh, which is like uh, you have a change on the dropping point, so you have to do several checks and compare with the original oil grease to see if there is any change. The second type of test, which is called penetration test, this test is done for classification of oil and grease, grease using the NLGI, which is the National Lubricating Grease Institute. The numbers is... Uh, for this test or the result for this test, the numbers is like triple zero, double zero, zero one, up to six. That number represents how hardness of the thickener and the higher the number mean you have a harder grease type. The dropping point, which is this test is done to know at which temperature grease will convert to a liquid and the grease should run away from that temperature. You put the grease in a container and heat it up till the first liquid drop come down. We have roll stability, which is the mechanical stability of the grease, which should be sufficient to maintain the consistency between real lubrication. Also, you have four ball EB test or extreme pressure test. This test is done to classify the grease as EB grease, which is extreme pressure grease, and test how much will handle the load and the wear index. We have also the wash, water washout, the percentage of the grease washed out in one hour, which is determined by the weight as the the weight of the water, as the water can change the lubrication in grease and change the consistency. And the last one is the oil separation, which is just uh, to done to ensure that oil will not separate easily from the grease and at what temperature it could separate. And a uh, sample will be placed on a sieve and subjected to 0.25 BSI pressure and the constant temperature for 24 hours. And the oils which is separated, it will be collected and weighed. Uh, this was a quick uh, video about the several types which is done in Greece. Uh, sorry for the delay. I was really very busy in the last uh, three weeks. Uh, from the coming weeks, I will start to make more videos about the uh, uh, oil analysis. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And ho I hope you like the video.